we're going to have a look at displacement reactions today. Uh, the first thing we need to do is understand what we mean by the word displacement reaction. Uh, and that's where a more reactive element replaces a less reactive one in a compound. So much easier if we actually have a look at an example. So we're going to have a look at the reaction between copper sulfate and copper, copper sulfate is made up of two ions, a copper ion and then uh, a compound sulfate ion with magnesium. Now, magnesium is a much more reactive metal than copper. So magnesium replaces copper to give us magnesium sulfate. So the element, the metal element that's now in a compound with the sulfate ion is magnesium. So magnesium has replaced copper um, to produce magnesium sulfate. And then copper itself um, has been um, uh, kicked out, has been removed. Um, we can do that as a word equation. So copper sulfate and magnesium react to give magnesium sulfate and copper. Uh, we could also do that as a symbol equation, which is pretty much what we've done up here. But CuSO4 plus Mg goes to MgSO4 plus Cu. We also need to be able to explain um, how we know whether something has been oxidized or reduced. Um, and later on in the video, it'll, it'll make a bit more sense as to why I've chosen, uh, uh, done it like this. But copper has been reduced. We can think of it as being reduced because it's lost the sulfate that it was with. Um, but also, you'll see later that it has gained electrons. The magnesium has been oxidized. And to do that, it has lost electrons. OK, but the easiest way at the moment is just for us to realize that if copper has lost the compound it was in, it has been reduced. And because magnesium has gained a sulfate ion to make a new compound, it has been oxidized. Uh, let's have a look at another example. Uh, we'll do the same thing again. Um, we'll think about it as a sort of diagram, first of all. So we've got uh, silver nitrate which is AgNO3, reacting with sodium. Now, sodium is a much more reactive metal than silver, so it will produce NaNO3 and Ag. Uh, we could do that as a word equation. Silver nitrate plus sodium goes to make sodium nitrate and silver, and we can also do it as a symbol equation, AgNO3 plus Na gives NaNO3 plus Ag. Again, we can think about the silver as being reduced because it's lost the compound, but very importantly, it has gained electrons and the sodium has been oxidized. Again, uh, we can think about it in terms of electrons there. Sorry, I just realized you can't see that. Okay, so silver has been reduced because uh, it's lost its compound and it's uh, gained electrons. So let's have a look at um, just doing some of these as symbol equations now. So I'm just going to do a few examples of symbol equations. So here's another one, copper chloride. If that were to react with zinc, zinc is a more reactive metal than copper. We'd produce zinc chloride. And copper and again we can say that the copper has been reduced and that the zinc has been oxidized in order to do that um, I'm going to have a look at one where we need to balance an equation so I'm going to write the unbalanced version of the equation first of all and then I will balance it so this is silver nitrate reacting with magnesium um, because magnesium forms a 2 plus ion and the nitrate ion has just a single negative charge, we need a second nitrate ion in order to form, give the formula for that. So in order to balance this equation, we would need to do 
I'll put a 2 in front of the silver nitrate and then a 2 in front of the silver there. So the final thing we're going to have a look at is ionic equations uh, and this is very much um, higher tier so if you're not doing higher tier then you can probably um, leave it at this point. So we're going to have a look at ionic equations for displacement reactions. So um, let's go back to uh, one of the examples we looked at at the beginning, which was the reaction between copper sulfate and magnesium to give us magnesium sulfate and copper. So what we can see from there is hopefully that we remember that the copper has been uh, reduced and the magnesium has been uh, oxidized. So let's think about this in terms of ions. So copper sulfate is a Cu2 plus ion and an SO4 2 minus ion, and the magnesium has no, has no overall charge. Then when it forms the compounds here, then magnesium now has a 2 plus charge, and we've still got the sulfate ion, and the copper is um, has no charge now. Now the sulfate ion is acting as a spectator ion because it has it's not changing in the reaction. So we can call that a spectator ion. And when we write ionic equations, we actually leave out the spectator ions. So Cu2 plus, I'm not going to write the sulfate because nothing changes, plus Mg makes Mg2 plus and Cu. Now it makes it a little bit easier to understand why we were talking about copper being reduced here. In order for it to go from a 2 plus to a, a no charge, it actually has to gain two electrons. In order for magnesium to go to Mg2+, it has to be oxidized, which means it's got to lose two electrons. And it makes this word reduced make a little bit more sense again as well, because the charge on the copper ion has gone down, it has reduced. So we've gone from 2 plus to 0. Let's have a look at a couple more examples. So we're going to have a look now at the reaction between copper 2 plus and zinc um, in terms of ionic equation. So this could be copper chloride, copper sulfate, copper nitrate, it doesn't really matter. So because zinc is more reactive than copper, um, zinc will reduce the copper and it will be, uh, itself become oxidized. So the copper has been reduced, the zinc has been oxidized. Let's have a look at one example where we have to do some balancing again. So this might be the reaction between silver plus ions and zinc ions. Now zinc tends to form two plus ions. So the equation would be like this. So zinc has gone from no charge to two plus and silver has gone from a plus charge down to one. So zinc has reduced the silver. Um, but because we've got a difference in charges here, we would need to balance the equation like that. Thank you very much.